Happy to be out of that suit? Never again. I hated every minute of that party. How's things? Doing well. Where you in? Hey, Charles. All okay, Javier? Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right. Looks like we'll live to see at least a few more days. Folks are happy, Arthur. Happy? Well, they're fed, which is the next best thing. So good. It'll be okay. Hey. Arston. Arthur. What's wrong, Mr. Pearson? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Well, then why do you look like a beaten dog? Because. I don't know. It's hard to say. The mud. The swamps. You know, I once saw the Cape from a 40-foot swell. I once crossed the equator during a meteor shower. I rode into a harbor surrounded by beautiful maidens selling pineapple and colors. Colors so brilliant they burn your eyes. And now, I live in a swamp, waiting to get shot for riding with outlaws. Well... I never took you for the self-pitying sort. I never was. It's the mud and the swamps. Sometimes it gets to me. Actually, I'm fine, Miss Grimshaw. <laughs> Nothing like good, honest labor. Back to work.
Sorry, boy. Mm -hmm. Por favor. It's warm. W. I'm upside down M. I don't get it. Oh, you will. It's like swimming. It takes time. But then it's easy. And the whole world opens to you. I hate this. It's too hard. Take your time. Morning. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll work! Don't hurt him, please! Meet us at the cathedral, Mr. Morgan. You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ah, now. I mean, uh, hey, Help. Uh, who? Help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. Now. Someone help me! Officer, help! <sighs> Hey, mister. Howdy, sir. Hello, sirs. Hey there. There, sir. You know, Hello, you know, mister.
movement, the people that are most in need of our help are the most resistant to it. But that's not a reason to give up on them. Nope. Mr. Morgan! Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! No, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins found him. I told you. Brother Dorkins. Hello, officer. Hello there. Sir, come in and have a browse. Tell me if you want to try one out. Oh, you don't mess around. Strength. 
bureaucracy. Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have? At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh... Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Uh, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is. But I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Yeah, you're a strong one, boy. Uh, let's get you looking nice. <laughs> 